Hello. In this episode, we will be talking about an underrated hero and how she risked life and limb to free so many people, yet she still doesn't receive the recognition that she deserves. So, with that said, all of that is coming right up on the Master Reader, so say it with me. Cue it! What's up, gamers and uh, book reviewers and uh, people who just love to read? How are y'all doing today? My name is The Master Reader, and I will be doing one of my book reviews today. Uh, today, in specific, um, there's been a lot happening with the world. Um, uh, we have a book today that we're going to be opening up and reviewing and see how much credit the main character of this book actually deserves. So let's get to it, shall we? Shoom! Uh, let's see. How did I drop that? Oh, uh, what is it anyway? Hold on a second. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, this is a ball. Well, you don't need 100 IQ to figure out that this is a ball, but, um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not what I'm looking for, so let's just bounce that in here. Let's just forget that and try to find the book. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, we found the... Oh, you saw the back already, didn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, written by Robin S. Doak. This is Harriet Tubman. Well, actually, the real title is A True Book About Harriet Tubman. <laughs> um, so, th let me start with the fact that this book is, um, small, but it actually contains a lot of facts and um about harriet tubman obviously and her life and what she did that was really so important and that should have given her a lot of recognition so this story of her life begins around 1820 or 1822 because that's when she was born she was born a slave both her mother and her father were slaves and one day she got uh when she grew up she managed to escape slavery uh unfortunately other people were obviously still being enslaved and they treated slaves very harshly back in the 1820s and uh back in the 1800s in general they treated slaves very badly slaves people who were bought by owners of plantations and farms uh, for the slaves to work for them. Uh, and they usually treated the slaves very harshly. Sometimes the slaves were even killed by owners who were really cruel and ended up whipping them too much because they didn't even, they didn't even do anything. And then they got, they got punished so badly that they ended up dying from fatal wounds. That sounds horrible. I don't think I should have said that. But after, um, Harriet Tubman escaped, she came back and ended up freeing a few more slaves. Because of that, she ended up getting noticed by another group and she officially became part of this organization that was set on freeing slaves. She kept doing this for a while and by after she, after she died, they figured out that she took 12 trips from all of the places in the south, all the way to Baltimore, Maryland, she took the exact same trip 12 or 13 times, and she ended up freeing about 70 slaves. And this is incredible. While Harriet Tubman was freeing slaves, a war ended up breaking out in the United States over slavery. This was the first and probably the only time this has happened in the history of the United States, where a certain part of the United States fought another part of the United States. So it was called a civil war. And the war was about slavery, obviously. 
Uh, the two sections that were fighting each other were called the North, also known as the Union, and the South. The South supported slavery, the North wanted to end it. After Harriet's last trip to free slaves, she ended up being a general uh, and ended up organizing an attack. Uh, and this attack ended up freeing over 700 slaves. And this was the first time that a black woman or a woman at all had uh, organized an attack. So this was huge. So that already pushes Harriet's number to over 770 slaves being freed. Uh, here are some last facts that you might want to know. Uh, Harriet Tubman's original name was called Araminta Ross. Uh, her mom's name was Harriet. So while she was a slave, she changed her name to Harriet Ross. Uh, in the middle of between her being a slave and at, or her escaping, she ended up marrying a man named John Tubman. She adopted his last name, which means uh, instead of being Ross, her name is now Tubman. And that is how Harriet Tubman was um, named. Uh, the last fact, even after everything that Harriet Tubman did, she never got a Congressional Medal, Medal of Honor, which is an um, award that they give out to heroes in the United States. Um, so that is really, that kind of brings a argument that Harriet Tubman is underrated. They aren't talking about her as much as they should do. So now, uh, here's another thing. So now they're actually thinking of putting her face on the $20 bill. Uh, but I think they've been trying to do that for quite a while now. This has been going on for a few years. But they are going, it's official. I think they're going to put her face on the $20 bill. A huge honor. And uh, so now it's time for me to, to give my honest opinion on the book. Uh, this book is short, which is actually really dumb why I took so long talking about the book when the actual book is only uh, 10, 20 pages long. But in that short time, there are images and there are so many facts about Harriet Tubman and that you would, some of them, I think, would be really impressed with them. So uh, another thing is the pictures. Well, I already mentioned the pictures, but um, the pictures are real. Some of them are drawings and some of them are actual real uh, pictures taken at real locations. And uh, these pictures are obviously very informative. And because of all that, I would give this book um, a five billion out of five. This book is, um, it's really good. Uh, it gives a lot of detail and insight in such an easy and a simple way about a woman who is incredible. She is one of the great heroes of the United States. Um, so this book is just above and beyond. And after all of this, I would like to say that this is a for the newest and greatest episode so far of The Mast Reader. But before you go, I'd like to end it off from a quote from Samuel L. Jackson. Black lives matter. We're not saying they matter more. We're just saying they matter. And I'll see you next week. So after this happened, Harriet Tubman was invited to organize an attack because the uh, af during <laughs> Dur while Harriet Tubman was free. Okay, stop. Okay. And how she risked life and limb to. Oh my. No. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs>